say welcome. Welcome. <laughs> I am trying to shoot this video and he wants a snack. Mm. What kind of snack do you want? I want. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? You just want a snack? Yeah. I always want a snack. Hi everyone, Jennifer here. I'm going to be doing a large batch freezer cooking session today. We're going to be making a very healthy, veggie packed turkey shepherd's pie that the whole family will love. Sure. I haven't done a freezer cooking video in a while because we were redoing our kitchen. But I can assure you that as soon as our kitchen was finished, I was in there making freezer meals. I really was. And I made a bunch. I made some uh, chicken pot pies. I made my usuals. So today I'm gonna to be showing you a very healthful turkey shepherd's pie packed with veggies. I'm going to share my freezer cooking philosophy with you in today's video as well. Before we get into it, today's video is a collaboration with another freezer cooking channel here on YouTube, and they are called Easy Freezer Meals. Eric and his family actually run a freezer cooking business from their home in Panama. I am half Panamanian, so when Eric reached out to me to collaborate on a video, I thought this would be so cool. They're relatively new to YouTube, and it's a wonderful channel. If you love cooking videos, their videos are just really to the point and professional, and they have so many good ideas on freezer meals. So I highly recommend that you check them out below, subscribe to their channel, show them some love, and tell them that I said hello and I sent you. So in Eric's video today, he's going to be making a low carb chicken marsala with black garlic and fresh mushrooms. How good does that sound? And so you definitely should check out their video right after you finish watching mine. Okay, so quickly, I just wanna share my freezer meal philosophy with you. Because we are a family of six and my family just go through so much food and I constantly felt like I was just cooking every day, pulling things out, you know, and making the kitchen a mess. And it was just so much effort. I really pride myself on efficiency and I thought there's got to be a better way to this. Now, every meal we have isn't a freezer meal, but we have at least two freezer meals a week, I would say. And that just makes dinner time go so much easier. My freezer meals are usually very large, so it accounts for two meals. It'll be, you know, dinner one night, lunch the next. I don't really follow recipes. I just follow my instinct after years upon years of cooking. And so, for example, for today's freezer meal, what I did was I got the um, four pack of ground turkey from Costco. I think it amounts to about five, five and a half pounds. I had a ton of veggies. I just used what I had. I happened to have carrots, onions, mushrooms, um, power greens. Just use what you have. It's not going to go wrong if you don't have carrots, for example. I just had a lot of carrots, so I thought, well, why not put carrots in this? I like to pack my meals with veggies, even if it's not traditional to the recipe because my children are eating them and there's just nothing wrong with giving them more vegetables, right? So I do that, I combine it all and I put them in the freezer ready to use. So today I'm gonna to be making three large turkey shepherd's pies. One of them we're having um, the night that I made it and the other two I freeze. Okay, so having said all that, let's go back in time now as I'm making these very healthful turkey shepherd's pies. Okay, so here I have about six carrots and two large onions, sauteing in olive oil. And to this, I've just added some ground turmeric, some cumin seed, and some celery salt. And I just eyeballed it. I am also boiling the potatoes here. And I've added some mushrooms now that that's cooked down a little bit. Okay, then I take the vegetables out of the pot and I'm cooking some ground turkey here. This is about five pounds. And once it's browned and drained, I reintroduce uh, the vegetables into the pot and I just mix it all together. Here are the mashed potatoes. And to the meat and vegetable mixture, I add even more greens and these are the power greens. And I let that cook down. Then I'm going to prepare my pans. So one casserole dish is going to be for tonight and the other two are going to be for the freezer. And it's so easy. After spraying it with cooking oil, you just go ahead and put the meat in the pans. Then on top of the meat and vegetables, I'm just putting a layer of shredded Monterey Jack cheese. So yummy. 
And on top of that, I just add the mashed potato. And that's it. My daughter likes to help me, so she's helping me here by sprinkling some cheese. And we just complete the two freezer meals. So these are very family friendly, and my daughter's filming, so her thumb's in the way. <laughs> but these are very family friendly, and what you do is you seal them properly and label them and put them in the freezer. And you can bake them directly from frozen in the oven, and it just takes longer. So at about 375 degrees. And I will put all of the ingredients and directions down below. That's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that this gave you ideas for your own freezer cooking sessions. Don't forget to check out Easy Freezer Meals YouTube channel below. They are a wonderful new channel. They deserve so many more subscribers than they have. And if you like cooking videos and freezer cooking videos in particular, you will love them. So I'm gonna leave Eric's video down below. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.